Okay, everyone, welcome to our webinar today on how to break into, tap into, how to dominate your luxury home market. And I want to start by saying, by the way, this is Greg Haig, and I salute the Maverick and you. Uh, thanks for joining me this morning. We have a total record turnout. This is a triple record turnout today, a triple record turnout. And it should be because what I'm going to teach you and probably I never know, it's somewhere from 30 to 60 minutes. I'm targeting 45 minutes. What I'm going to teach you will move your needle like nothing I think you've ever heard before. I promise you the strategies, the actual step-by-step -step process, the five-step process I'm going to teach you today, all you have to do is just do it. I made it so easy. I spent hours actually putting this into an ABC, here's what you do, here's how easy it is, and here's how well it will work format for you to just make it super, super, super easy. And to get started, I'm going to actually do something that I have never done before on a webinar, but um, I'm going to make a call here, just to illustrate, we're gonna call my son Casey. He's gonna pick up, and Casey's watching the webinar, so I called him earlier, told him I'd probably be giving him a call, Casey, are you there? Casey? Hey, Dad, let me walk away from the webinar so you don't have any echo. All right, so here's Casey right here. So here's the backdrop with Casey. Casey is my son. Casey is uh, my youngest son. He's an attorney in both California and Arizona. He decided just a few months ago, the end of last year, to join me in real estate because like me, when I practiced law, he found that he watched the life that real estate gave our family as he was growing up, as opposed to me practicing law, the freedom, the money, the fun, the clients, the just the whole, the whole thing, the whole experience. So he decided he wanted to do it. And Casey decided that he wanted to specialize in the luxury home market. So I decided rather than just coaching and training, um, I've always listed and sold real estate, but I got mostly into coaching and training. I would actually help him. So really, Casey just got kind of officially started right after Christmas, the first of the year, and um, he is doing unbelievably. He is following my strategies like impeccably, and I've gone out on a few listing appointments with Casey just to, and I've actually done them in the beginning so he could observe. And Casey, the reason I called you up, and I told you a half hour ago I was going to give you a call, and Casey got a little miffed at me because he normally watches my webinars while he's eating breakfast. So this is interrupting your breakfast. Is that right, Casey? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dad. Way inconvenient. No, no. Yeah. All right. So, so Casey, just I remember after we did the first couple appointments, even the first one, I remember when we went out and I got in the car and you commented about how it was unbelievable to see the home sellers, these high, our first appointment, that home was, um, what, about a, a little over a million, million two, million three, million four, between a million, million five. Was that our first listing appointment, as I recall, back a few months ago? Yes, between one and one point five million, right in that, right in that sweet spot, right in that Exactly, and uh, we've listed several since then. And by the way, you've done an amazing job of selling them. Um, just tell everyone um, what was it like to watch those sellers as I talked to them about our luxury home strategy, how different we were than the, all the other realtors in Paradise Valley. I remember you commented to me when we got in the car, just, just share freely whatever, whatever you remember you said. Yeah, well, I, I noticed, you know, there were parts um, of the listing presentation that um, were conventional just in the sense that they wanted to talk about price and all those things. But when we talked about the pre-marketing, um, I just commented to you that their reaction was entirely unique during the listing presentation. Their eyes lit up. These are luxury home sellers that I have learned just like unconventional things. They like that treatment and they understood the foundational concept of time on the market on the MLS as it's the purchase price of the home. So this plan, um, I've learned since then why it's so sunk in with them. Um, 75 day pre marketing. They just, they get it. They love it. And we set ourselves apart. And I was excited about that. And didn't they, as I recall, they just, just that day, first time they'd met us, just said, yes, we're going ahead. Go ahead and list the home. Oh, yeah. There was no competition. <laughs> yes. There was no, I mean, it's that good, you guys. And then we've done a number of them since then. By the way, that house, Casey, uh, Casey got sold, did a great job. And then our, 
last listing appointment, just a, a week, 10 days ago, that's the one you're just launching actually yesterday. Um, how long were we in on that appointment? We, it's the same thing, same process. Uh, I don't recall exactly, but just how long do you think we were there before they said, yes, we're ready to go ahead? Exactly. We were, it's, it's the truth. You guys, we were in the backyard standing by the pool. We had just gone through the home, looking at the backyard and talked a little about what we're doing. And they basically just said they were, by the way, listed with another realtor. They invited us over listed with another realtor. We never tried to suggest anything. And they just said, you know, we're going to call and cancel with the other realtor and go with you guys. And, um, and I mean, it was just, and, and they made the right decision because are we going to sell this home Casey? Yeah, you just launched it yesterday, did a great job. And one last thing, if you don't mind sharing approximately, you've been in the business really working just three and a half months or so since the first of the year, um, just in closed earnings. After brokerage commission split and everything, uh, in closed earnings, approximately how much have you earned in your first, let's say, three months in the business? Yeah, well, I will call it the first Casey quarter. Um, you know, I, I've deposited happily above $40,000 in my first Casey quarter. Above $40,000 in your first Casey quarter. And that is, and by the way, that is not just a result of my training and the strategies I'm going to teach today. That's a result of Casey, you doing an amazing job. And I just want to tell you, I love working with you. It's such a pleasure. And uh, okay. Thank you, Casey. You can go back to your breakfast and watch the webinar and see how your old dad does. Okay. Dad, you call me anytime. I love working with you. Thanks. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. And guys, before we get started again with the actual slide deck, I'm going to make one more call because I want you just to absolutely know what I'm going to teach you today, how, how just unbelievably this can work for you. This is, I'll see if Teresa picks up here. I told her earlier I might give her a call. And Teresa. Hi, this is Teresa. Okay, Teresa, this is Greg. How are you this morning? Good, good, good. So um, we're on the webinar here. I don't know if you're watching or not. You're probably out busy listing and selling. The, the brief uh, thing with Teresa is Teresa was with me for years, worked with me as one of my listing partners uh, as we were building Hague Partners in Paradise Valley. It's why I wanted to give her a call. Then when the market crashed back in 09, 010, she went into financial planning. And just in the past few weeks, uh, Teresa, because she sees me getting in back, back actually involved in day-to-day -day real estate and a brokerage here, in addition to my coaching and training, Teresa asked if she could come back. And I mean, I welcomed her with open arms. The reason I put Teresa on is Teresa has been on a gazillion listing appointments with me, done a gazillion herself. And uh, Teresa, all those, how many years did we... I don't even know if I want you to tell everybody how far back we go. You mentioned to me the other day, is it 20 years? Is that right? Really is what you said? Yes, that dates Yes, that dates us. So just in a one minute nutshell, and then I'll get the webinar started. When we used to go on listing appointments, and then now with you, I haven't even gone out with you, with you using the strategies and going out on listing appointments, just having started with me a couple, three weeks ago, what's it like? You know, I have done exactly what you taught me to do all these years ago. I haven't changed one thing. And I started, it has almost been exactly 30 days. I've gotten three listings. I've got a new listing coming, well, appointment, which I know I'll get tomorrow. And I've put, just this last weekend, $1.6 million worth of business into escrow. Into escrow. Just, and just doing exactly what we did before. Just doing what we did before, and that's what I'm going to be teaching today. And yes, congratulations, 1.6, two sales, 1.6 million in sales over Easter weekend. That's pretty good, Teresa. First 30 days back in the business. I mean, you rock. You know how much I love working with you. But uh, but thanks. Thanks. I, did. I told you earlier I might give you a call. I just wanted everyone on this webinar to understand that what I'm teaching, this is what we're using in practice right now. It works, it'll work for you, and it works for your home sellers. What's so good about it is it doesn't, isn't that true, Teresa? This isn't just a way to get listings, this is a way to sell homes. Isn't that really the truth? Isn't that genuine? You know, absolutely, and I don't know these people, and they don't know me, and I'm up against the big dog when I do this. And after I'm done with that listing appointment, 
two of them got me right on site. Yeah. The, the other one is going to call me back, but I know I'll get it. And I'm just following exactly what you've taught me to do. Yeah, and and it, and it, and that, by the way, it was just me spending years and years developing this whole process that I'm going to teach today in just about 30 minutes. So, hey, Teresa, thank you. You're amazing, and we'll talk later today. Thanks for being available. All right. Thanks again, Greg. Have a great day. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, I am going to just get Jen back on to monitor. We're going to get started with the slide deck, so here we go. Let me go over to screen share here, slide deck. Hey, okay, Jen, put me on mute, and we're going to get rolling here with the actual slide deck, okay? Okay. You good? Okay. Okay, so the reason I wanted to make those two calls is because there are so many trainers and coaches out there that teach theory and teach all kinds of stuff, but they're, they've either never done it, and they're not being critical, but I am talking about the difference, the big difference. I've not only done everything I'm going to teach you today, I've not only done it, I'm doing it today, and the agents I'm working with are doing it today, and the agents I'm coaching around the country are doing it today, and this absolutely, positively, this little five-step process, anybody, any one of you, any one of you can make hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in the luxury home market. Even if you don't focus on that, even if that's not your main thing, just one or two a year can make a big difference in your income when the opportunity arises. But I'm actually going to show you how to do more than that. I'm going to show you how to market into the luxury home market and take business away from the big names, the experienced agents, the ones that are now getting and commanding all the business. You can do this, and I'm going to show you how right now. And then I'll just tell you, towards the end of the webinar, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a year. I did it a year ago. I'm going to do it again in May, and that is I'm going to actually offer a one-month personal, me-involved luxury home course for 100 agents. Uh, if you want to even look at it during the webinar, it's 297 bucks. Last year it was 497. This year I reduced it to 297 just for everyone on this webinar. 297 bucks. It's at luxuryhomecourse.com. Just tell you right now, luxuryhomecourse.com. I cannot handle more than 100 agents. I'm going to devote from May 11th, one month, to helping 100 agents around the country pound into their luxury home market, including giving them all of my materials, everything I've done for them to just recraft and put into their own brand. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you about that process today. I'm gonna give you an overview of how it works. And then if you've got $297 on your credit card, I will tell you the best move you are going to make today, this week, this year, and I kid you not, is to sign up, be one of the first hundred, because I am cutting it off at a hundred, and that will probably close out right after the webinar. Uh, I'm going to cut it off at a hundred, 297 bucks, and I will handhold you for one month through this entire process until you are actually going out and on listing appointments and listing luxury homes. Okay, so let's, and that's a luxury home course. Do you believe we got that URL? Uh, luxuryhomecourse.com, luxuryhomecourse.com. Okay, so here we go. This is a five-step process, and this is the process that resulted in me getting a 43% share of a 5,000 home luxury market in just 24 months. 40, and for, I want to be dead accurate with the 43%. What that is, is after 24 months, I was taking 43% of the new listings in this community on an on on a move forward basis i didn't have 43 percent i was taking 43 percent because there was a lot of accumulated business over the past two years uh, that was still sitting there listings that were sitting there but i was taking basically a little over four out of every 10 listings that came up in a 5,000 home luxury market and that's just after 24 months of using the exact strategy that i'm going to talk to you about today so, um, to make this webinar a lot more fun, what I have done is I have sprinkled my marketing materials throughout this webinar. And the really fun thing about that is I'm going to talk to you about how unique and unusual my marketing is. Uh, I'm going to give you, get your creative juices flowing so that you can do the same thing. And for those of you that enroll in the course, luxuryhomecourse.com, any of you that enroll in that, I'm actually going to give you all of my marketing materials copyright released 
so that you can simply put your name in and use them as your own in your luxury home market. Um, and I will tell you, even just one, even just one of these things you'll see uh, took hours to produce, graphic artists, et cetera, and I'm gonna give you 10, 15, 20 of these things to use. So step one, step one is you need to identify, and I don't want you to do a larger one to start with. If you've not been in the luxury home market before, if you've not focused on it, I just want you to identify a 250 to 300 home area of higher priced homes. I want you to start small, get your feet wet. That's easy, anyone can get started that way. The cost is minimal as you'll see. I would like for those homes to be contiguous. It's not necessary, but if they're contiguous, that would be best. If they're not, it's not a big deal, but try to make them 250 to 300 contiguous homes. I started with 5,000 homes uh, instead of the 250 for two reasons. Number one, I had the budget to do it uh, so I could afford that. And number two, that was a there is a luxury home community here in Arizona called Paradise Valley where there's a newspaper that goes to those 5,000 homes every single week. Everyone gets it, it's free, it's delivered to every one of the homes. It's such a cost-effective vehicle. Now I spent several thousand dollars a week, several thousand dollars a week in this newspaper, but I was hitting 5,000 homes. I mean, I was probably spending five, 10,000 bucks a month, but I was hitting 5,000 homes, not 250 to 300. So it was very cost-effective and I had the budget to do it. it doesn't matter. That just allowed me to scale up a lot more quickly. Don't worry about 5,000, worry about 250 to 300 to get started until you start cashing some checks. So this, as I said, is an example. So now I'm just gonna give you a fun example. This is an example of an ad. This is one we just ran a few weeks ago. And notice uh, right away what we're doing, and then I'll pop back into the slide deck, that uh, sell your PV home in 75 days. Now in most parts of the country, uh, selling a luxury home in 75 days would be below the typical time frame. If in your area, like one of the agents who were personally coaching up in California, um, his name is Adam, uh, the homes in his community, the higher priced homes, sell more quickly than that. So that would not be his compelling message. His compelling message would be something like, learn how to sell, it could be a number of things, learn how to sell your home, sell your whatever his area is, sell your home, uh, for three to five percent more than your neighbor. That's a very, but you want to come up with one message, as I'll talk to you about this webinar, one message that you constantly pound home. And you can see that I'm also really imaging Casey here. I'm introducing Casey, introducing his brand, building his brand in Paradise Valley with this kind of advertising. Notice the dog at the top, it's kind of fun. Our sellers jump for joy. That's really important that you make your ads kind of, kind of fun as well and kind of light. Um, okay, so now we're back to the 250 to 300 homes. You want to enter the name and addresses of them into a database. You can use constant contact, MailChimp, etc. You just do this. This is like baby steps. This is beginning, baby, baby steps. But do this. That's the thing. I teach this. This drives me nuts. I teach this stuff, and everybody loves the strategies and all that, but then they just don't do the baby steps necessary to implement them. So. This is, an, this is like the first imperative step and anybody can do it. You could hire somebody for 18 bucks an hour to do it for you. This allows you to understand, to get focused, understand your area and develop, as I say down here, a customer avatar. That is a picture of exactly who these people are that you're marketing to so that you can talk to them specifically. Um, the ultimate, you want to know the ultimate kind of thing in niche marketing? The ultimate, I say send a letter every, uh, like every other month or every month to the same 20 home luxury homeowners talking about how much you love their home and would love to sell it. Think about this as an idea. Now, this, this, is, this is like what I call micro farming. So the 250 to 300 home area would be your farm. This would be your farm. The micro farm might be, it could be one home. You could pick one home in the 250 to 300 homes that you would love to sell. You would love to be the one to sell. And let's presume the average homeowner in that area keeps their home six, seven, eight years. You could just send a letter once every couple of months to one home and just to those homeowners individually addressed, 
just telling them how much you've loved their home, admired their home from the outside, maybe saw it before they bought it, et cetera. And should they ever decide to sell it, would they please consider talking with you because you consider it to be your number one favorite home in the entire community. You know, unless they have like a, unless the husband or wife is in real estate or has a best friend in real estate, I mean, the odds of you getting that when it comes up in one or two or three or four or five years is enormous. That is micro marketing. You could do it with 10, you could do it with 20. Imagine doing it with 20. You could just pick 20 homes and you figure if the average turnover is six or 7%, that means that 20 homes, you're probably gonna have what? You're not probably going to have one or two of those homes that are going to sell, a couple of those homes that are going to sell, let's say, every year, maybe even three, which means if you start marketing to just 20 micro-marketing, personal letters, talking about their individual home and how much you've enjoyed, appreciated, how much you'd like to be the one, then you describe it so they know you're talking about their home. I mean, just doing that, this is just idea, okay, idea now. Just doing that, putting aside the 250 to 300 homes, identifying 20 homes and writing every other month, just six times a year, a personal letter. This is not an email, a personal letter to those 20 homeowners individually addressed, just reminding them about you, again, talking about how much you enjoy the home, how much you love their particular home, and just asking them if they ever should decide to sell, would they please talk with you because you totally, totally could do the best job of selling it because you love that particular home so much. So that's something that I have done on occasion and I cannot tell you it is so effective, it's ridiculous. In fact, what happens a lot of times is the people actually will send you a letter back or give you a call and thank you for the very nice, kind letter regarding their home and how much you appreciate it, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So starting in a small area also enables you to become more knowledgeable about that area, which is a huge advantage on listing appointments. And here's what I want you to allocate in marketing budget. So what we're gonna do with these 250 to 300 homes is you're not going to email to them. You don't even have their email addresses. All you're gonna have is their names and their addresses, and that's all you need. So you're going to actually twice a month, you're going to send something to them by regular snail mail. So that's what you're gonna do in terms of getting your message in front of these people twice a month. So you budget a buck and a half a home, figure that the cost of a stamp, I don't know, what is the cost of a stamp? 45, 50 cents or something? I, I'm embarrassed, I don't even know, but I think it's under 50 cents. And figure 25 cents or so for the actual letterhead or print or whatever. I no way near probably gonna be that expensive. So you could, to, you could hit one home twice a month with a personal letter, something really nice, a personal card, and to give you some examples of what you could send, and you could do this for a buck and a half, probably a buck and a quarter, probably a buck and a quarter a month. So if you're hitting, let's say, 300 homes, 300 homes, then you'd need a budget of $450 a month to hit 300 homes, and probably it's gonna be under $400. That is not a lot of money when you figure that's 48, call it, call it, um, you know, four grand, $4,500 a year to do this. I mean, bottom line is there's no way you're not going to get at least one of those listings. I mean, you're talking 300 homes do this. I mean, you figure 6%, that's 18 of those homes are going to come on the market in the course of that year. That's one or two a month. You are absolutely positively going to get one or two or three or four. You'll probably get three or four of those. I mean, you're going to get such a big return on that buck and a half per home. It's ridiculous. And I'm going to show you here in the webinar what to send. I'm going to actually show you the kind of things to send here. Okay, so that's step one. Identify that area. And I gave you some examples of the, the power of doing that. Become knowledgeable about the homes, the agents, and the amenities. So I'm going to take you through this real quick. This is the part that everybody seems to skip, but do not skip this. Do not skip this part. Uh, I mentioned here lawyers, because I'm one and Casey's one, lawyers take three years to learn the law. They spend a quarter million dollars in three years of law school, and they don't earn as much as a good luxury home agent. I mean, you gotta understand that for a few weeks, a little bit of time investment, virtually no money investment, in learning three main things. Learn the homes. I'm gonna show you here exactly what to learn. Actually take the time and do this. Um, you want to devote, start by devoting a few days to previewing every home in the area. 
So you're talking just a few hundred homes. You might want to also preview around them. And you want to look at every single home that's for sale and you want to take notes and you want to really like memorize it like you're being tested. See, I say here, pretend you'll be tested on this information. Pretend you'll be tested on this information. And by the way, here's the thing. I'm going to give you a caution. For those of you who sign up for my luxury home course starting May 11th, and again, that's at luxuryhomecourse.com, I'm going to test you. This is not going to be a one-way street. This is a two-way street. That's why I'm limiting it to 100 agents that I'm devoting my a whole month to of my time because I'm going to test you. Don't enroll in this course and spend your waste your $297 if you're not prepared to do the work because you'll be wasting it because I'm going to embarrass you. will be worse than wasting it because I'll embarrass you. I am going to absolutely positively be like glue on everybody in this course to like be prepared for me to test them on all the things we're going to talk about here today in the webinar. Okay, you want to devote at least a day, I'd say more to study every home that's sold. I mean a day, like eight or nine hours. I don't mean a couple hours. I mean like eight or nine hours to studying and memorizing everything about all the homes that sold in the area over the past two years. If we're talking 300 homes, if we're talking, let's say, 300 homes, then, and let's say there's a 6% turnover, okay, 6% turnover, so that would be 18 homes a year, that would be 36 homes over two years. So there should be 30, roughly 30 to 40 homes that have sold over the past two years. I would, you need to pretend that you're, you need to get a 90% score if you took a 100-question test on those 30 to 40 homes, I mean, from prices to addresses to characteristics, you need to just know that inside out. You could do that in one day, for gosh sake, one day, probably less. And if you really want to know how to study, if you want to learn how to study effectively, just Google Greg Haig, learn twice as much in half the time. Google Greg Haig, learn twice as much in half the time. I wrote a Huffington Post article on the strategies I use, the multi-step strategy I use, very easy to score number one on the bar exam in just a few months of study. I mean, I was competing against hundreds of law students who just finished three years of law school and then crammed for this months that I was cramming. I hadn't looked at a law book in 35 years and using this particular technique that I described in my Huffington Post article, I was able to beat every one of them and score number one on the bar. Use that technique and in one day, you will know everything about those 30 to 40 homes that sold. Okay, here's an ad. Now, here's the interesting thing about this ad and this is what I want you to realize. See how different this was than the other. So I alternate this, these ads. This, this is an ad that talks about creating the right circumstances to get buyers in a higher price frame of mind. And to spend a lot of time writing this, but what I'm doing is in my advertising into the luxury home communities, I'm not just saying I've got a 75 day plan, I can sell your home for three to 5% more. My technique is totally different. It's a better experience, it's private, there's no MLS. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. People love that, by the way. No sign in your front yard. They love that, by the way. But the bottom line is I'm also educating. I'm running like every other week. One week, I'll run something that talks about the process, the program, and the next week, I will educate people. Why? Number one, I want to, and number two, I want them to know, quite frankly, how smart I am. And what I say when I educate in an article like this, creating better circumstances in the mind of the buyer, this also makes those, those home sellers think, I wonder if other agents know this. I wonder if other realtors know this. So that's the reason I brought this ad into the, into the deck here this morning, so that you could see the difference between this one and the one I showed you before. Okay, so now back to the deck. Make a list of the five agents. So now you you're memorize all the, you've previewed all the homes that are for sale. You've memorized everything about all the homes that have sold in the past two years. And now you're going to make a list of the five agents who listed and sold the most homes because these are the ones who you'll probably be in most competition with. And there are the five things that you want to, that you want to find out and learn and codify about each of those agents. You want to take each agent, average time on the market for all homes, uh, how long on average did it take them to sell their homes? You want to see what percentage of their homes expired. You want to look at the average percentage of sale price to original list price, not to a reduced list price. This is huge. 
not to a reduced list price, but look at the original list price, look at the ultimate sale price, and see what their average percentage is. Uh, you want addresses and info on the homes each agent failed to sell. You want a list of the ones that they failed to sell. You just make a list by agent, which homes did they fail to sell over the past you know, couple of years, and then addresses and info by agent on homes currently listed but unsold. Now, here's the thing. Once you get this data on the five agents that are the biggest names in the area, your eyes will light up. You'll see if you take and do this, these five things on each of these agents, you will see their Achilles heel. You will see, or if you're competing against them, how you're not going to criticize them personally. All you're going to do is you can point out the home sellers. You can pick the information that is most supportive of you and your process versus what they're doing. And the main thing is simply to show, if you're breaking into the luxury home market, to be able to demonstrate to home sellers that the agents who have the most listings and the agents who have the biggest names are not necessarily, are not necessarily the agents who will be most effective at selling your home. That's a common misperception. Home sellers, homeowners see agents with signs all over a community and without thinking deeper, without thinking more deeply, they tend to assume that those are the people who are most successful. That is not always the case and that is not often the case. Many times those are not the agents who are selling the homes closest to original list price, that is delivering on their promise to the seller, that these are not necessarily the agents who are selling the homes in the shortest period of time. And short matters because time on the market kills the price of a home. You know as well as me that the longer a home sits on the market, and this is a big point I make to home sellers, and it's a reason why I talk to them about the, my pre-marketing, the 75-day pre-marketing, how powerful that is, is there's no real downside to it. We're gonna suck every buyer we can out of the market, including buyers with other agents. It's a full co-broke situation. It gives us a chance to get these buyers in, feeling like they're special, feeling like they're seeing homes for the first time that other people haven't. No sign, not an MLS, they're in a higher price frame of mind. And the good news is if it doesn't sell, if a home doesn't sell in the 75 days, it hasn't tracked any days on the market. We've tested the price. Maybe the home seller then realizes if it hasn't sold that this, we're glad we didn't go into MLS with this price because it isn't a good price because so many people rejected it. So the bottom line is that you can be much more effective. Your stats can be so much better, but you want to be able to compare them to the stats of other typical agents who have big names in the community. And this is how you do it. Okay, so you want to devote 20 minutes a day then, last little thing in this, in this step two, to learning about high-end home amenities. This is really important to be able to talk the talk. For example, do you know the difference? Could you tell me right now, before I flip the next slide, do you know the difference between quartz and granite countertops? I mean, could you, with clarity, tell me the difference between quartz and granite countertops? Well, bottom line is granite, as you, many of you, most of you probably know, those are sheets of stone and they're mined from quarries. Uh, they're absolutely 100% natural and any of the flaws or imperfections are right there in it, as opposed to quartz are manufactured. They're a, they're a, like, it's a resin product. They use st natural stone quartz with a resin binding agent and this allows those to be absolutely, well, I won't say perfect, but free of flaws. So a very different kind of a thing. Um, and then here's a number of other characteristics, the differences between granite and quartz, some of the advantages of granite, some of the advantages of quartz. Now, it is, you say, well, why would you have this in a webinar about how to list and sell luxury homes? The reason I would have this in a webinar about how to list, list and sell luxury homes is because when you're walking through a home and a luxury home and a home seller has a particular type of countertop, to just say, oh, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, you know, a beautiful high-end granite countertop. You turn to the homeowners as you're walking through on the listing appointment. You say, by the way, did you, do you happen to know the difference between granite and quartz countertops? Actually, the process and some of the advantages and disadvantages. Most homeowners will say no. And then you say, well, just for fun, just so you know, if you're ever building another home or buying another home, here are some of the advantages and disadvantages. This enables you, having this kind of knowledge, to, to portray yourself as you go through these luxury homes, to portray yourself as being better able to present the advantages of their home to a buyer. And you say that to you say, I have made a study of high-end luxury home amenities. 
because I realize that a lot of times buyers who buy luxury homes don't really know, don't understand how good some of this stuff is, how, you know, the advantage, some of the many amenities in these homes. And I point it out because it helps create a better perception by the buyers of value in the homes I have listed if I'm better able to describe the amenities those homes have. Every seller gets that. It gives you such a personal advantage when you're out on a listing appointment. So that is something, and that's why I say just 20 minutes a day. I would say five, six days a week, just put it in your calendar and learn something about some high-end luxury home amenity. Over the course of a year, you will become so smart, it is scary. Um, you, the bottom line is you overcome your experience gap with knowledge. Commenting on luxury home amenities during listing appointments makes sellers feel like you're a pro at presenting their homes to buyers, which is, by the way, what I just said. So another thing, you could start a weekly blog. Instead of blogging about homes, everybody blogs about homes that's in real estate. Why not do something fun and cool? Start a, maybe an idea would start a high-end, uh, a blog for high-end homeowners previewing the latest, greatest home amenities. Uh, you could turn it into a quarterly pamphlet that you distribute to your 250, 300 home demographic. And I'm going to give you a couple examples. So, okay. So, for example, and I mean, I just looked this up yesterday. Do you know the best garbage disposal in the world? The one that's rated to be the best garbage disposal in the world. Well, best garbage disposal reviews 2017. Just go to MrGarbageDisposal.com and it lists several of what's one of the top is the in-sync aerator. As I recall, it has a three-quarter horsepower motor. I mean, that's one where you do not want to stick your hand down in there because your hand is gone instantly with a three-quarter horsepower motor. I mean, and this baby is quiet, and it will grind up anything. It is totally rated to be, I think it was rated number two, but the number one one I didn't like as well as this one. So bottom line is, so, so you can do a fun, imagine what a fun little blog. Uh, here's another one. Do you know the most talked about high-end dishwasher for 2017? Uh, well, here it is. This is the one that everybody's talking about out there. It's the Big Chill Retro. It's $1,900. Most uh, high-end dishwashers, really nice ones, four or five Mealy and, and even the nice KitchenAids, which are great, four or five, six, seven hundred dollars This baby is $1,900. Comes in all these different retro colors. It is kind of like a real statement. Not saying it'd be right for every luxury home, but what a fun thing to blog about. I mean, see, the whole idea is to get people who are interested in homes reading you, reading your blog. Don't You don't need to be talking about how to sell homes. People are only interested in how to sell homes when the time comes to sell a home. But people who own homes, I mean homes of all price ranges, are interested in these kinds of things. So imagine the kind of following you could build by just doing this kind of a thing. I've never done this. I just got the idea the other day when I was preparing this webinar. I've never done this kind of a blog, but I thought this would be major league fun. I think I could build a multi-thousand following in Paradise Valley just blogging into Paradise Valley about these kinds of things. In fact, I might even do an article. Maybe I'll do a Paradise Valley newspaper article um, uh, that is on some of the high-end things. I think that would be like a really fun thing to do. Okay, so you next thing, you want to write a position paper. And in my course, um, this course that I'm going to do in May, I'm, we're actually going to give you what you need to put in the position paper. It's just going to be virtually done for you. Just put your name on it. But it's a position paper questioning specific aspects of the traditional luxury home process. I mean, this is huge. This is the whole foundation of your program, your process, your product that you're going to be presenting into these 250 to 300 homes. Why people should talk with you, why people should list with you. You're gonna be selling a product, you're gonna be selling a process. You're not gonna be selling you as much as you're gonna be selling your formula for selling their home faster and at a higher price. And I want to say that again, you're not going to be as much selling you as you're going to be selling your formula for selling their home faster and at a higher price. Um, the idea is to, through your blog, through your position paper, and you're going to really turn this position paper into kind of your luxury home brochure that I'll talk to you about in a few minutes. But this position paper is basically going to be going through the traditional things, many of the traditional things that other luxury home agents in this 250 to 300 home area are doing and why those are not most likely to get homeowners the highest price for their home. Um, and again, I want to mention at the bottom, you don't criticize other agents personally. You never do that. You're just going to be criticizing the outdated processes that they use. So here's an example. Take a look at this while I have a sip of water here. 
Should luxury homes be marketed like, the, like a loaf of bread on the shelf of a store? Now take a look at this and notice down there what I say. So there's, there's the, and by the way, this Adrian, if you're watching, I know Adrian's watching this morning. Adrian put, uh, put this one together for me. Does Adrian and Aaron have been amazing. Aaron's our graphic designer. Adrian is our guru, Facebook marketer, and she does an amazing job with images as hero. She put this one together. Most agents mark luxury homes like, like lower priced homes. That's a mistake. My unique strategy is designed just for luxury homes. It was even featured in Forbes. Now here's the thing, guys. For those of you, this is so powerful to say it was even featured in Forbes. Here's the thing. For those of you that enroll in my luxury home course in May, you're going to be able to say that too, because I'm going to teach you this exact luxury home formula that was featured in Forbes. And so you don't have to be me if you're, if you learn it from me, then it's fair game and you know it meticulously and I certify you in it, which I'm going to do. You're going to get a certification in this. Um, then the bottom line is you can put that in your ads too, because your formula was featured in Forbes and you can even give them the link and you can even say that I'm your luxury home coach, your luxury home partner, your luxury home, whatever your luxury home strategist. And bottom line is you can leverage that. Well, um, I'll simply say for 297 bucks, I mean, of course it's going to sell out. So I don't have to sell it to you. Of course it's going to sell out. It may be half sold out by now, you know, halfway through the webinar, but for 297 bucks, just to be able to say that is worth 297 bucks. So incredibly powerful because there's the social proof, there's the credibility, and that's what's going to get you in the door. Okay, so here's another type of ad that I do, and this is, this is um, similar to that better circumstances one, but remember I said you want to create a position paper, uh, a position paper on why other, the things other agents are doing are not the best. They're outdated, they're antiquated, and it's why luxury homes are not selling for as much as they should. Well, that's, this is a mini, this is a mini version of that, and this is an article that I wrote that came out just a couple of months ago in the Paradise Valley Independent, and it's why Paradise Valley homes sell for less than they should. And so this is like a mini version of that. And of course, for those of you that are in my luxury home course, you're going to be able to use this exact thing. You're going to be able to use this word for word, and, uh, and we're going to help you, and, and I'll help you develop this so you have this whole series of ads that you can just use yourself. Okay? So, and then... Another one, this is positioning again. Remember I said take positions uh, and to have this positioning paper. Uh, this is another article I did, and this would be part of your positioning brochure. Take down those awful signs. And I talk here about all these signs. And believe me, everything I say, this isn't smoke and mirrors. I believe this. I know this. In fact, I know it to be true. I know that the process is outdated. I know the process is antiquated. I know the other agents are just following the normal routine, listing these homes because they have names and recognition, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and what I'm doing is enabling Casey, who has no, no experience, no credibility, et cetera, to break into this market by using this exact strategy. And as you heard him on the phone, I mean, he's already earned, earned I mean, closed in his first 90 days, over 40 grand, and he's so busy, he can't even take any more business. Just listed another 1.3 million, I think 1 million 350 home last week, and he's just launching that uh, through this process today. So this is another positioning piece. This um, is a, 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 remember I said about um, doing, doing physical mailers, physical mailers to the 250 to 300 homes twice a month. Some of those should actually be personal letters, and some of those would just be this. Uh, it would just be this top part here. Will a sign in your yard reduce the price of your home? My luxury room strategy is so good. It was featured in Forbes. When it's time to sell, talk to me first. Um, and the bottom line is you can just put that in the mail with your contact information across the bottom. And you can even add that other part at the bottom. Are agents with for sale signs and lots of yards the best choice for selling your home? Are these signs of failure? Are these signs of lower prices for those sellers? Um, the bottom line is they are. The longer those homes sit with a sign in the yard, those home sellers are going to take it in the shorts. Those home sellers are going to take less for their home. And so as part of, uh, and if you go over, you can read uh, on at luxuryhomecourse.com, at luxuryhomecourse.com, you can read down there all the, uh, 
that down at the bottom where I'm saying all these marketing materials are included in the course uh, where you can just with um, my name removed so that you can just brand them. They'll be in a format where you can just brand them to you. And trust me, these things work. Ask Casey, ask Teresa. Um, this also, and now this is not as much a positioning ad as it is an educational ad. Here I'm talking about how smart sellers think like buyers. And this little article, and you see at the bottom though, I'm doing the positioning, but in the article, it's so you're looking, so the point here is you're seeing three types of advertising that I'm doing. And I've done this for 25, 30 years into the luxury home market. Part number one is just the positioning advertising. It's the 75 day private home marketing plan, sell your home for three to 5% more. We do it differently, private, no MLS for 75 days, no sign for 75 days, build anticipation, build excitement. It's the only way to launch a luxury home on the market. And we totally distinguish ourselves from other agents, totally distinguish ourselves from other agents with that positioning. Okay, so that's the positioning, that's the formula. Then the other type of ad that is mixed in is the, is the ad that educates. Okay, that's the educate. This is smart sellers think like buyers. So this is an educational kind of an ad. And remember that better circumstances sells homes at higher prices. That creates better circumstances. That was also an educational kind of an ad. So the educational ads show how smart you are. Here I'm talking about when you get an offer on your home as a home seller, if it's an offer that's, that's, that's in the realm of reason, do realize that if you turn it down, you're buying your home back. And so I'm really talking to home sellers here in this community about how if you do get a good offer from me or any realtor and you're there with a good offer and you're just a little bit off of where you want to be, do realize that if you don't reach down and sign on the dotted line, if you don't accept that contract, what you've done is effectively bought your home back. You're really a buyer for that amount because it's sold. If you reach down and sign it, it's sold. And so I'm talking here about how before you ever turn down an offer that's in the reasonable range of value, before you ever turn it down, if you know that's it, if you know you can't get the buyer any higher, if this is fish or cut bait, do realize when you turn it down, recognize that you're actually writing a check. Maybe if the offer is one million one fifty, and you want to to not take any less than 1.2 million for your home, but it's been on the market for let's say 60 days. It had a lot of people through, never seen an offer a billion, above a million 150. And I tell sellers this, we've not seen anything above that. We've run a lot of buyers, a lot of agents through here. Now we have this at a million 150. Would you, knowing that as an investor, as an investor, would you pay a million 150? Would you buy your home right now as an unemotional investor? Would you buy it for a million 150, knowing no one has made an offer for anything, any of that amount or, or more in the past 60 days, in the hope that you can make 25 or 50 grand, knowing also that you've got to continue to carry the home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And also knowing, and this is the biggie, that every week it sits on the market, it goes down in value because time on the market is acid to the price of a home. So that's a powerful, this is a powerful article I wrote, educating sellers and quite frankly, helping every realtor, every realtor in the luxury community get their sellers to be reasonable when they have good offers. So, so the three types of ads are the educational ad, the posi positioning ad, and then the tr position against tradition ads. And those are the ones where I say take down the signs and those other kinds of things where I'm talking about what other realtors are doing and how that is not the most effective way to sell luxury homes. So you want to keep in mind these three different categories of ads and you want to mix them up. It's that mix up. It's that hybrid that creates the unbelievably potent, potent solution, potent marketing plan that gets you more and more calls from luxury home sellers. Okay, so takeaway number one here is don't try to beat established uh, luxury home agents at their own game. You wanna take positions against tradition. That sets the foundation for you marketing your different product, your unique process uh, for selling luxury homes. And takeaway number two, selling your unique process. This is it, this is the big, big takeaway is the key, number one key to breaking into your luxury home market. And you again can see another type of ad and anybody that enrolls at luxuryhomecourse.com is going to get, again, this all this stuff I'm showing you today so that they can rebrand it to themselves and use, use the Forbes credibility. Um, and so you wanna make you secondary to the home seller's decision. 
You want to make your home selling process, your product, the focus. It's not like you're not going to portray yourself as super smart and super good. That's why I want you to become so educated on other agents, educated on high end amenities, educated on the homes that have sold, educated on the homes that are for sale. So when you're in talking to luxury home sellers, you can really talk the talk. You can portray yourself amazingly. And I'm going to teach you in part of this course how to do a, what I call the luxury home meticulosity walkthrough the luxury home meticulosity walkthrough. When you do the luxury home meticulosity walkthrough, and this is when you're over on a luxury home appointment, the sellers have pretty much decided to list with you by the end of the walkthrough before you ever even sit down. It is that good. And I've designed this walkthrough, one that's just designed for luxury homes. It is phenomenal. Okay, so um, position other agents, you know, and I've talked about this before in many of my webinars, you want to position other agents as selling shinier versions of the same old Ford while you have a Tesla, you have the Tesla of sell, how to sell luxury homes. And by the way, did you read the other day that Tesla, I think Tesla, um, it did, it became the most valuable car company in America. It surpassed Ford, surpassed GM, et cetera. Tesla, because Tesla is Tesla and Tesla is different. And if that isn't a little bit of a hint on what I'm talking to you about today for you to do in real estate, Tesla has grown to the most valuable car company in America. Okay, so you also, I'll, I teach you this little ribs formula, uh, and this is something uh, I learned years ago. And basically, it's when you're positioning yourself, when you're doing your messaging, always run it through this little ribs test. Um, is it relevant? Is what you're saying relevant to your target market, to your customer avatars, greatest needs, greatest problems? Can you make it sound inevitable? Can you make it sound so good that it's inevitable? Um, can you make it like believable? Do you have the chops? Can you, is, I like to say, is it so logically transparent? Like the way I present pre-marketing, the way Casey does, Teresa does, the agents I coach, the way that is presented, it, it's so logical to home sellers that it's just intuitively believable and you wanna keep it simple. You wanna make it so people just get it because it's simple to understand. So picture your customer avatar. These, these people who live in this 250, 300, 300 home area, what are their greatest needs, their fears? Is it fast sale, highest price, privacy, convenience, security? Quite frankly, the highest price is almost always the number one thing, but these other things matter as well. And faster sale, a lot of sellers don't realize this, faster sale goes hand in hand with higher price. Um, so here's another one where I mentioned, uh, and I mentioned, I showed you this before, um, three things to know when selling your home, better circumstances, sell some better. And again, this is more of a positioning, this is more of a positioning ad. And then here, here's one that is simply presenting, and I wanna contrast that, and this is, the, this is where you actually develop your process, okay? This is step four, and you develop your process here. Whoops, there we go. Um, where you develop your process, and this is just a short way of marketing that. Okay, so this, developing your personal process, and this is in the course, in the luxury home course, we're going to develop, everybody in the course will have, at the end of the course, they're going to have their own process nailed down, all the marketing materials, everything ready to go. They're gonna be rehearsed at presenting it. It's just gonna be like ABC. They're gonna have their demographic identified and they're actually, hopefully by the end of the course, uh, which is four weeks starting May 11th, they're gonna already be out on at least one, if not two listing appointments. So the, this is really the fun part. And you can see this is one of those ads where it's just simply promoting the 75 day plan. Now the reason the 75 day plan is that I'm using that, that we're using that in Paradise Valley and not pushing the three to 5% above market um, as hard is because the average time on the market in this Paradise Valley community is around 200 days. It's very long. There are a lot of home sellers sitting around there with homes unsold. There are a lot of homes that are expiring. The luxury home market, while the Arizona market in the mid and lower price is very strong, the luxury home market is not that strong. Uh, and actually, I believe luxury homes went down slightly in value. So the idea of selling in 75 days, which by the way, Casey and I haven't missed on one, every single one we've gotten done. We don't just talk the talk, we walk the walk. And Casey, I know you're listening and that is the truth, isn't it? We walk the walk, you are doing the work, we're making it happen. So you also make it happen. You don't cash a check unless you make it happen. But this is, these are the kind of fun ads that get people's attention and make them pick up the phone and call. And in fact, um, Teresa and I have appointment, uh, what's the next one? I think it's, what is today, Wednesday? Oh, it's tomorrow morning. 
tomorrow morning at 10 30 uh another home in paradise valley i mean just from this advertising and i'm taking teresa with me because quite frankly casey is so filled out and i want to get teresa off to a really fast start right now okay so other thing you want to do, and this is really the positioning paper. Remember I talked to you about the positioning paper? You want to develop a brochure that explains this plan, that explains the whole thing. You just, um, easy as 11 by 17 folded, that's four, eight and a half by 11 pages. Everything you've seen, by the way, that in these ads that I've done, there's your positioning. There's pretty much, you put some things about you, but this is the brochure. It's all the, all the copy is already there to just plug in strategically with strategic good professional photos of you. And by the way, if you would like to know how to take a great professional photo, go to my LinkedIn profile, um, Greg Haig on LinkedIn. And the last blog I did about a week, 10 days ago, was uh, several tips on how to take an amazing professional photo. And that is getting a ton of views. So it's important to have a great professional photo, but this is like a sample cover. Uh, this would be a sample cover you're seeing right here to what would be your positioning brochure. And this is another sample cover. Uh, Want to sell your lecture room in 75 days? Same messaging. My strategy is so good. It was featured in Forbes. You can say the same thing, by the way. If you're part of my training and learn this process, I'm going to teach you. And uh, because it will be your particular process. So you can say that. So you can use that. You can use this exact cover if you want. You would probably want to. You're probably better. You know, well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you are. You're probably better looking than me. So you probably want to substitute your photo for mine. But here's a version without my photo, which is probably one that you would want to consider more. So there you go. So there's some covers and step five. And this is uh, kind of going to wrap it up. You want to develop marketing materials that promote your home selling plan. Um, now, I use the in Paradise Valley. I use the, the newspaper there simply because it was so easy. But if I hadn't, if I hadn't had that newspaper, I would have picked because I had maybe a larger budget than I want you to get started with. I would have done a thousand homes. I would have done the individual mailers, individual physical touch mailers with a combination of letters from me combined with these kind of images that I just showed you. And every homeowner in, the, in a thousand home area would have gotten something from me twice a month. Would have cost me buck and a quarter, buck and a half a month per person. So we're talking somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars a month. Uh, that's nothing. I mean, it's nothing compared to the money that you make just selling one of these homes. And and as I say here, every ad doesn't have to be an ad. You inform, you surprise. I talked about that. You impress people. You take positions against tradition. Uh, and I showed you that one. That's a fun one. We got a lot of great comments on that ad. That's another one I showed you before. A lot of great comments on that ad. This particular ad you're seeing right now produced two calls. This ad ran one week, produced two calls. I mean, this ad, I think it, uh, I don't know what it cost me to run this thing, seven, 800, 900 bucks a week or something. But this, this ad will, that I spent seven, eight, 900 bucks on um, as a full page will probably earn Casey and me back or Teresa and me back, whomever I partner on this, 20, 30, $40,000. I mean, that's, that's this ad that you're seeing right now. So, and then also you can run some fun stuff, as I said, um, like the five second rule. I saw a, a cool thing about the five second rule. And uh, for those of you that enrolled in the course, I'll send you this. It's a great little thing to send where you're just really getting light. You're not talking real estate, you're talking personal development. It's a little tip to help people get off their duff, to stop procrastinating. It's got a great story behind it. And uh, so I talk about that here. I talk about the person who developed it. It wasn't me. Uh, I believe her name's Mel Robbins. And uh, so the bottom line is you also do this kind. These are the kinds of mail outs that you'll be mailing to your 250, 300 home market. Does that make sense? And then there's one other thing you'll be doing. Uh, occasionally, you might list, you might list homes that are perfect move down opportunities for the people in the luxury home, the 250 to 300 home luxury area. So as one of your mailers, you might wanna do like this. Uh, this is a home that was a perfect move down. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's listed for eight, uh, in the high eights. And so we promoted this and guess what? This was an ad that ran on this and guess what? Uh, this was one of the homes that Teresa sold over the weekend. So this ad just ran uh, briefly ago and Teresa sold, it was one or two she sold over the weekend. And you see how effective an ad like this is. Uh, and it's basically what we're doing. It's not just an ad on a home. This is one where we're actually talking to a specific demographic and saying to them, this might be a perfect home for you. And bingo, home sells over Easter weekend. 
So, and again, this is a, a more of a personal development kind of a thing. This was one of the most popular ads that I've ever run where I got a ton of comments where I moved out of real estate for one week and just why smart people make dumb decisions. And this just got a ton of great comments. It's got great advice, by the way, on why people make common mistakes. And so you want to do this kind of thing also. And by the way, for those of you who sign up and spend 297 bucks, luxuryhomecourse.com, uh, luxury, if it's not already sold out here, because we got a huge attendance on this webinar. Um, for those of you, you get to use this as well with your name. And I wrote all this stuff so I can copyright, write, release it to anyone I want. And trust me, this people love. What a great mailer this is to people. And then, of course, you'd mention on it instead of what I have at the bottom, you'd mention on it uh, that you sell homes and whatever your plan is. Uh, so, um, as I mentioned, to finish it out, if you'd, uh, if you'd like to work with me for four weeks, uh, learn everything over those four weeks uh, that I know about how to list and sell luxury homes. And I gave you, I really gave you the whole overview today. I mean, you can go, you don't have to spend a nickel. You, if you go implement what I told you today, you're going to do great. I tell you, these are the five steps you want to do. But if you want me to hold your hand, if you want all my marketing materials pre-done so you don't have to do them yourself, uh, copyright released, um, then go to uh, right here. It starts May 11th. I'm going to take a hundred agents. It's four weeks. Uh, there's four 75 minute live webinars. This is nothing recorded. This is all me live. They ask me questions back and forth. Um, and if it goes longer than 75 minutes, I'm going to hang on and answer everybody's questions. Uh, and uh, all the sessions will be recorded. If you can't make one live, no problem. You'll get that. And the main thing is, I mean, it's just, it's worth it so much you know, I'm, I, you're going to get a whole package, all downloadable of all the marketing materials, all the stuff that I've used, the best stuff I've used over all these years, the stuff that is allowing Casey to get off to such a fast start, that is launching Teresa to such a fast start, uh, that home sellers just gobble up, the stuff that, you know, allowed us to list a home, what was it, last week or something, in a matter of minutes, a matter of minutes, because they've been reading this advertising. You get all that for $297, and that is at luxuryhomecourse.com, luxuryhomecourse.com. Just go over, and oh, by the way, there is a, a guarantee, and you know I would do this, um, if you pay and you attend the first session, you got to attend the first session. If you pay and you attend the first session and you, for any reason, don't just feel like, oh my gosh, you look at the marketing materials. If you don't feel like this is the best value ever, like totally the best 297 bucks you would ever spend, then all you have to do is let us know on May 11th, same day, uh, and your money's fully refunded. Money is fully refunded. But I got to tell you this. Um, if you got no training from me and you just got my marketing materials to use, that'd be worth 10 times $297. That would be worth 10 times. It's probably worth a hundred times, 30 grand um, to $297. Just if I gave you the right to use all my marketing materials and release the copyright. But in addition to that, you're actually going to get, if you can put up with it, you're going to get four weeks. You're going to get four weeks of me. Uh, for $297. So there it is, guys. Uh, I'm going to finish this the way I always do. And I'm going to hop back here off of the screen share if I can find how to do that. There I am. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish this, finish this by saying, well, I guess the dogs are home from their walk, right? And uh, by the way, this is the office in, uh, in our new home that we just moved to up in Silverleaf. Um, we're just loving it, and uh, it's just really nice up here in North Scottsdale. Beautiful day. So I'm going to finish this webinar the way I always do. First, I'm going to say thank you. Gosh, we've got a triple record turnout. I want to say thank you for attending. And whether you sign up and, uh, for the Loves Your Own course or not, I hope you do. But whether you do or not, I want to tell you that I wish you the best. I love it that you guys follow me. I have such a loyal following. I get so many nice notes. Those of you that haven't left me a recommendation on LinkedIn, uh, I sure appreciate that. If you enjoyed this webinar, just go to Greg Haig, Real Estate Mavericks on LinkedIn and put in a couple of nice sentences. But other than that, I'll simply say that uh, I hope to see many of you, uh, luxuryhomecourse.com, go sign up. It's all explained over there. And for those of you, either way, I will see you next Wednesday. So I'm going to finish the way I always do. And that is by saying, I salute the Maverick in you.